What's going on guys? Dear Brother Alchemist here. I'm keeping my voice down because baby's falling asleep. I'm not trying to keep him up. Just next door. Um, so, I want to make this video to explain why I am halting most of my Bitcoin trading and why I'm focusing on Ethereum. Uh, also, like what my plan is, right? <clears throat> so, I'm holding most of my Bitcoin and I'm discontinuing trading with it simply because the volatility, I think it's just not worth um, the gains sh in the short term to take a risk on trading Bitcoin. I think it's much efficient um, of my time and also a lower risk um, to not be trading something that will be worth so much more down the line and where I can be gaining interest um, via passive investments uh, such as in BlockFi getting about six plus percent right returns in bitcoin so there really makes it makes no sense to be getting such a low dollar amount back i mean i don't have huge bags of bitcoin right i'm not a millionaire yet um so Although I am stacking Satoshis, which will be worth money down the line, I think it's just not worth the time and effort to be engaged doing that when, you know, I want to make sure that I'm good as soon as possible. And so uh, 100K really should be where you're even thinking about selling some small portion of your Bitcoin holdings um, below that it's pretty insane simply because uh, Bitcoin will ultimately be within 400 to 500 thousand um, dollars especially if there's inflation right and I think we're gonna get that 20x uh, move by 2030 um, and so I'm focusing on Ethereum, which has the potential to 120x from what I am gathering, um, which would price each one at about 70,000, right? Uh, I have a couple of Ethereum. Um, I will be selling about, I have to decide, but I'm guessing about one tenth of uh, maybe one Ethereum or of all my holdings in Ethereum at all time highs, just to kind of get back some of the money that I've invested. Um, but really, really, I'm waiting for that 7K mark to sell about one Ethereum, right? It just makes more sense. It makes more sense in the short term. So I'm, I'm thinking not to mess. I'm really looking at bitcoin as if it were gold and it's just a way to preserve wealth and to grow it long term the longer you hold it the more it's going to grow the more you will see in returns and really you know my cash flow is going to come from altcoins and that's how um really financial freedom is going to be attained by most people um, so, you know, I have my Cardano bags ready. I have my V chain, uh, my bat, which is associated with the brave browser. Uh, I have some link Stellar lumens, Tezos, and, uh, I have some more scattered. Now I'm starting to focus more and more on, you know, special projects that I believe in because, uh, such as Theta, which is decentralized streaming um, entertainment. It's huge. It's going to be insane. 
okay um so that's just something for you guys to think about right uh lark davis look into his videos on how to take games kind of how to set the plan because although you won't more than likely be able to execute your plan exactly it's good to kind of have a blueprint in your mind of what you are about to do rather than to just you know go off on the fly so another thing to really think about is what will you do with your uh, money once you have cashed out and made your fortunes right um, I'm gonna get to that in a second but um XRP it will be delisted uh, come Tuesday January 19th 2021 at 1 p.m. Eastern Time XRP is currently dumping um, it makes me think just how everything is playing out that these bankers want to be in control of that coin now I'm not stacking XRP I've taken a little bit right I think I have maybe 70 coins of XRP I've transferred them off of exchanges and uh, I'm just gonna wait and see what happens but I expect prices with this news now this is this just came out within the last hour prices will be dumping to about 15 cents 13 cents if I see that price action happen I'll be tempted to gather up a little more store it away just kind of forget about it and see what happens you know I'm I'll, I'll treat XRP more like um, I'm at the roulette table right let's just see what happens I think we have a better chance with XRP than the lottery but I think it's still a gamble at this point now talking about you know taking gains and what you're gonna do what you plan on doing with the money that you make right one huge tool will be and is Blockify and the reason why I say that is because you can earn money on your USD coin you could transfer your cash into di digital um, money and just collect 6% which is way more than banks are paying you right now so even if you're not into crypto just get your fiat turn it into a coin and collect interest on it you know um, you know I would say you know lock in about 5% of everything that you earn into BlockFi right 5 to 10 um, percent Paxos gold right about I would say 3% of your earnings or silver um, don't ignore the stock market the index you know especially technology index um, if you're looking to invest in uh, real estate look into REITs REITs uh, preferably rental right um, of course uh, some type of IRA tax shelter you could um, there's cool things that you could do like uh, if you're married you could gift your wife about like ten thousand dollars and it has tax uh, implications which will help you pay less taxes you know you do cool things like that so it's time to start thinking about like what will you do with the money that you make because you want to grow it and make sure that you don't have to do much for money right you want to then switch over to putting your time into things that you just enjoy I mean I enjoy trading so I think I'm always gonna be doing this but it won't be because I have to it'll be because I want to 
right? So that's just something for you guys to think about. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.